Hey guys, Christmas Eve, December 24th. For the next couple of days, I think about five days here in Southeast Tennessee, it's supposed to be in the mid 60s during the day. Lows in the upper 40s. And for those of you that still have hives that are alive, your bees will be flying if it's this warm. I put out pollen sub. I put out some three to one sugar water. I'll show you that here in a minute to give them something to do other than fly all around, pick on each other, pick on the weaker hives, gives them something to take back to store. No, it will not start the queen to lay in crazily brood patterns because they're smarter than we are. We'll go over here and look at the sugar water feeder. The thing that I've learned with feeding sugar water during the winter never ever put out more than they will empty before the sun goes down that's why I've got these small little quart jars out here and there's only what seven of them got one that's well it's a spaghetti jar but still I put that out about an hour ago and you can see some of them already a quarter of it's already gone Pollen doesn't really matter that much, but the sugar water does. Because if there's still sugar water left in the jars, right as sun goes down, they'll actually sit here and try to defend the sugar water or they'll stay at it overnight and freeze. I've got, uh, oh, I don't know, 70 or 80 colonies here at the house. As you can see, there's there's another feeder on the other side of the house. And there's another pollen feeder on the other side of the house. So there's not... I don't know why, but they'd rather go a little bit further than right here in front of the hives. But that's the tip for right now, middle of the winter, because everybody's thinking the end of December, broodless, do oxalic acid vapors. This is my essential oil magic cell mixture to help deal with viruses and bacteria in the hives and figured that would be a great time to do it during the winter while it's warm. Give them a little medication since I don't really treat for Varroa, I treat for what Varroa brings in. Guys have a great day. I'm going to. And for those of you that celebrate Christmas, Merry Christmas. Forgot to mention, when you mix up the three to one, if there's any left right before sundown, take it back in the house because it'll go come out of solution and you'll have a solid brick of sugar in your jar and it is quite hard to get mixed back up. I figured I'd throw that back on here because I forgot to tell you that. Have a great day. Hit that like and subscribe. Share them. Hit that bell notification button if you'd like. Have a great day.